Oh, hi. Let's try some craft beer, shall we? For this project, you're gonna need a shitload of perler beads, a pegboard, don't forget this weird wax paper, some chain, big jump rings, yes I'm aware this looks like a drug vial, and some lobster claw jewelry claspy things. I'm sleepy. What's happening here? And an iron! Don't hold it this close to your face. I'm sketching my own perler bead patterns. I use color pencils and graph paper. If you were wondering, yes, this is a finished product. More like finished product. I like Finland. Country puns. According to this, I'm halfway dead. Time to drink. The colors you're gonna need are black, red, and clear. Is clear a color? First you're gonna lay out your beads. I'm only two beers in and this is proving difficult. My fingers are too monstrous. They don't call me a ham-fisted ogre for nothing. Ah, tweezers. I've somehow managed to turn this into a two-day project, so since I promised I would do this under the influence, I need to start drinking again. By the lighting in here, I'm sure you can tell it's before noon. Good life choices. Hi, Mom. Hey, I made a full heart, a half-empty heart, and a completely empty heart. I do this because I'm dead on the inside. Let your iron heat up on the cotton setting, grab your wax paper, and let's melt some hearts. Yes, this is the only thing I use my iron for. I'll stop the world and melt with you. These are really hot. Let them cool off for a few and then flip them over and melt those a little bit. Time for stage two. Cut two seven inch pieces of chain, three one inch pieces of chain, grab six big jump rings. These are 16 gauge. And then one smaller one. Real little lobster claw. Look at it chain pieces, assemble! This is very important. You want this one in the middle. You want to make sure the clear one is on the clear side and that the red one is on the red side or else your health meter will make no sense. You take an open jump ring, attach it to one of the seven inch pieces of chain, go through one of the holes in the middle of the side, eventually get your jump ring through there and then close it. Ta-da! Now attach jump rings to each side of this one inch bit of chain and then we'll loop those open jump rings through the two sides of these pieces and then repeat for these two. Something I learned the hard way, make sure the chain is as straight as it can be when you're attaching these so that it's not going to be prone to flip over. Now if you over melted the hole you're trying to put the jump ring through, just take something sharp like a box cutter or some other kind of knife and just try to open it up. I super highly do not recommend using a box cutter while consuming alcoholic beverages. Now you have a health meter necklace. This male heart's a little drunk. Now you can wear this sweet necklace to your nerdy little heart's content. Now that you're done your project, you should be questioning the fact that twice this week you have been drinking alone in the basement while even the dogs don't want to hang out with you. It's cold on my teeth.